Hi, Dr. Shok here. So many patients ask to see before and after photographs of facelifts to determine if that's something they want to do. Very reasonable and I think all surgeons should be happy to show patients multiple of their surgeries before and after at different stages. You don't just want to see an after picture at three months or six months. You want to see it at three, six, one year, two years, or five years. And I think patients appreciate seeing the evolution of the healing process and how natural and undetectable that incisions can be. So what views should you show a patient? Because really, you know, many times photography can make a patient look like they had a facelift and they never had a scalpel touch their face. So you have to be careful when you're looking at before and afters. One of the most common views that's not really commonly shown, but to me is the most important view to show what kind of result you've had from a facelift is the dinner plate or looking down view. When someone's looking down at their dinner plate, the aging process in this part of the face is dramatically shown. And if a facelift is well done, that looking down view will also show a dramatic improvement. That single view is the most important view to really see what's been accomplished, to show that the deep muscle and the deep tissues have been fixed in addition to the skin being redraped gently over the deeper architecture. And that's usually the only way to create a looking down view that looks as youthful as possible. Certainly the side view, the front view are helpful, but to me and most surgeons who do a lot of facelifts, the looking down view is the one view that tells us how good our work has been. So if you have that option, I would ask for that view.